guys, Kurt from Time Machine Transport, just over here by uh, uh, some. I think I'm in Riverwood, Nebraska. I'm not sure. I think I am. Anyways, took a share of this burn. Um, got my brewer shirt on. Go Brewers this year. But um, so I had a subscriber cut my damn uh, nose. Um, I had a subscriber, Angel something or other. That's not his real name, so I won't disclose his real name. But he went on my <coughs> on my uh, Cheetah Keep Trucking ELD, and he had a lot of questions. So, um, and then there's some other people with some other questions as well. So I know my wife, hi, big girl, love you. Um, how uh, she doesn't like when I put my number out there, but I've had a lot of people reach out. <coughs> actually, believe it or not, in a lot of people thank me for many things uh, that I do in the truck, so I appreciate that, guys. Um, but I was just listening to this song this morning, or a, like a risky business. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm going to go over, uh, and so, so I started thinking, you know, when you're running, you can see my ELD up there. But not plugged in have problems with it so I'm gonna go over how so so the so angel when you um when you text me last night I was already sleeping but um, if you guys go in the red on your in your ELD if you have it plugged in I mean you can call keep trucking but I had another subscriber months ago call me and he was in a box truck and his driver, well, he wasn't, but he had a couple box trucks that he had some drivers in. And, <clears throat> I forget his name, but uh, he said his driver was getting in the red. And I said, well, call, call Keep Trucking and see what you can do. I don't think there's anything they can do necessarily. Maybe if you tell them, hey, I'm, you know, I wasn't driving, it's logging driving, you know, just make up some sort of lie. I mean, you know, basically, you know, when you're a truck driver, I mean, going through a scale, it's like another chapter in a book. It's like, you know, catch me if you can. So, um, but I, I stay legal, man. I, I mean, you, you have to know your boundaries <clears throat> and I'm going to show you a few things. You have to know your boundaries in the truck, man. Don't, 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 don't be stupid. Um, you know, if you, if you want to sleep in one day, you know, I, I look at it like this. Say for instance, you stayed up. I mean, when we ran papers, man, we were up for, for days. My wife would tell you, days. I think the longest I went was like 38 hours. And I got popped at a Montana scale. <clears throat> this cop was super cool. I got a citation. I got put out of service. Um, but he didn't DOT me. He just like, you're already in the system. Blah, blah, blah. Anyways, uh, I thought about running the scale, but that probably would have been worse off. When I drove for the Russian, when I, I, I think I, I was like, I had a new CDL, man. So we used to do all kinds of stupid stuff running papers. But the, the, the point of this video is Risky Business is the song. And it's not the movie Risky Business. It's, uh, which game is this real quick? But, and, and the thing is, it's Risky Business. What do you say? Risky business in the truck, man. Risky business in the truck. Um, <clears throat> so don't don't go in the red if you have an ELD. Um, I look at it like this: if you're it, it, say, for instance, you you have your shit unplugged, right? I'm not saying you should. I said if if you have your shit unplugged. Here, here's the thing. Here's the thing. If you if you run safe equipment and you're safe as a driver, I mean, you look at my shit. My shit's clean, man. I make my bunk every day. Every, every, every oh, yeah, I got pee-pee bottles on. I got to empty this shit out. Um, but <clears throat> my equipment's clean, man. So I, I'm not saying you do what you do you, man, at the end of the day. My point is if you're unplugged, you know, don't, I, I had a guy, who, who was it? Well, I won't say his name, because um, other people know him. So, but he, 
he was running papers and he had an ELD, um, and he just hadn't hooked the ELD up yet. Like all the, <laughs> he just, I talk, I'm talking with a list cause I, I got my brace, I have my braces on. Um, but he, he didn't, he had the ELD in his truck. He never called keep trucking to hook it up. He was just running papers. Uh, you know who you are. Um, so I told him, I said, dude, you better, <laughs> you can't, well, I'll just tell him it's broke. I'm like, it's not even hooked up. You can't, you can't tell him that you're just running papers, man. Cause your ELD broke. It's not even hooked up. So my point being is I'm going to show you guys a few things. I, I've got a lot of views on my, on my cheat the truck and uh, ELD videos. Um, <clears throat> so here's the thing. You know, if you, if you're, if you're, if you're unplugged or whatever you can, I don't, I'm not sure about the newer boxes. So my box is white. That's what she said. <laughs> so my, my box is white, she said. Um, but there's, the newer ones are the black box. You got a black box, she said. So anyways, uh, so, so. Uh, all, all seriousness, all, all seriousness. So, running, running, you know, running a big truck is very serious, very dangerous. Going down the road with an eighty-pound missile, a eighty, an eighty-pound, an eighty-thousand-pound missile. I'm just doing this video. I really got to get going, but because Angel had uh, texted me and he asked me what happens if he goes into the red, and you don't want to do that. If you, if you really, 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 really need to be somewhere. Yeah, I'm telling you, go ahead and unplug, man. But keep keep that cord on your lap and keep that keep that box right near you, man. And uh, so so the point is, the reason why they went to ELDs, man, it, it's not it's not it's not to be safe. Here's the thing: if you have, well, just call it for simple numbers. If you have a million truckers, right? And a million truckers have to have um, ELDs. Well, you have to have ELD trucking companies, and you have to buy ELDs, right? Well, they charge you a sales tax on an ELD. Well, the ELD companies are tax revenue for the U.S. government because our licenses are federally mandated. People said, oh, it's because of safety. It's not because of safety, man. Our fucking government needed the extra money. Our states needed the extra money. So they go in our pockets. Not the politicians that are making, you know, millions and millions and millions of dollars. And yes, they are. Yeah, they might get a salary of $163,000 a year. But 48 politicians during this whole vaccine bullshit, they made millions upon millions upon millions of dollars. Look it up. It's fact. So so my point is, they don't, why do you, if it was about safety, why would they still pull us in to, 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 to check us? Because they want to give monetary tickets, man. It's for the states. And then the Fed said, well, the states are getting all this money for all these DOT violations. And this, where's our cut? Where's our cut? Everybody wants a piece of the truck driver, right? So the point being is the Fed's got into the ELD to create money for themselves. Because when you buy the ELD... You have to pay a sales tax that goes to the state or the feds. I don't know who exactly. I think goes to the state. Well, so keep trucking. Say they if they charge you thirty five dollars per ELD, and if you got four trucks, do the math. It's one hundred and twenty, one hundred and fifty, whatever. I'm an idiot. <laughs> we'll just use simple math. Thirty dollars a piece. There four is one hundred and twenty dollars. All right. Plus another four is one forty. Right. For the extra to twenty. So. What's the square root of this truck, Kurt? I have no fucking idea. So, um, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a semi-driver. I'm not a fucking mathematician. So, the, the point is, if, if you have keep trucking and say they have, say they have 100,000 ELDs, right, out there on the road, and you do $35, $40 a month times that $100,000, that's a lot of money, right? Well, guess what? They have to pay ta taxes on that because that's earned income. Well, who does that earned income go to? The feds. Also, they create jobs. Mm -hmm. Well, guess who has to pay Uncle Sam 30 to 33% of their wages? The employee. 
So they're they're triple dipping. So not only do we have to pay HVUT tax, heavy vehicle usage tax, IRP every quarter. Oh, and that's another thing. So here's here's another thing. Oh, they didn't they didn't do the ELD for safety. No, 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 no. Look it up. There's more accidents now with the ELD than there were before the ELD. So Uncle Sam and the states got their hands in every in our pockets again, right? And I'm ranting, yep. Mm -hmm. But people think, oh, it was because of safety. No, it's not. It's not. It's it's to generate income for the states, the government, M mainly the government. Okay, the states already got their cut from the DLT inspections and all the violations, whatever the case is. Okay, and their if the IRP, whatever. <coughs> so. People, if you have online access, because I'm out of Wisconsin, right? So I have Wisco, or I think it's Wisconsin online usage or whatever. Uh, Wisco, Wisco, anyways. So I have to file. I don't have somebody do our 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 tax um, accountant just does our regular income taxes. He doesn't do my IRP. He doesn't do my if. If you're a truck driver, get your lazy ass on there and. Do it yourself. It's not very hard. Learn the program. Don't put the shit in somebody else's hand and let them keep their what? Their thumb on you, right? So, anyways, <coughs> you have to file an IFTA quarterly report, all right? International Field Tax Agreement, if you don't know what IFTA is. International Field Tax Agreement. Now, a lot of guys that I that I knew were, shit, they would only file IRP or IFTA one time a year. They would just say, oh, I didn't run this month. Or I, I didn't run this quarter. I didn't run this month or whatever the case is. So again, the states or the if the program wasn't getting their wasn't getting their money. Right? They were like, well how how is it that you know we see all these trucks on the road, you know, four quarters a year, but all these guys are aren't so you have to have a printout from your um from your ELD. Right? For your IFTA. So now they have proof if you get audited. Well, shame, shame, shame. Uh, we're going to fine you. And because your ELD said you were running, but yet you didn't file IFTA. Shame, shame, shame. Again, to generate income. So I'm going to tell you what you still have to do, even if you are unplugged. All right? Get yourself a nice binder. This is just my... And here's another thing, guys. Don't don't go into a scale house with a fucking manila folder. Have yourself a truck binder. Yeah, that one's got a lot of miles on it. So, sorry. You see that? All right, that's that's what you got to write down for your fuel. Okay. See that? See that? Turn this around. I get the fuck out of here. Anyways, so still write down. I still do my IFTA, my IRP, and everything. Um, if my ELD's not working, so um, here's the thing. Um, I'm not going to show you my ELD because some haters out there. Excuse me. Some haters out there. So this is. Now what you know, it's what you can prove, okay? Um, I'm not going to do another tutorial like I did up before. I'm just saying, go back to my keep, uh, cheat the, uh, or cheat the keep trucking ELD or something like that. Or anyways, go back in my videos. Just look up cheat keep trucking video, YouTube, whatever. Go back and, 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 and play the damn video, guys. You, you got to. You gotta be slick, man. You cannot get caught doing this. If you do, you're gonna be out of service and you're gonna get a fine, point blank. So, um, I, I stay legal. I stay legal and I do rolling restarts. For instance, I picked up Thursday, I won't tell you where exactly, but I picked up in California and I had to go to Barstow, to Jose because Ricardo, and I know you're watching my videos now. I'm not happy with the truck. I mean, it was blowing oil, doing this. Now, now I'm starting up the truck, and it's blowing fucking white smokes. Just so there's a leaky injector. I, I, I'll do another video. I'm just ranting. Sorry. So, <clears throat> I had to wait till Friday 
So Thursday, he filled up my AC, did some other stuff, and which wasn't in reference to the motor. It was just check my tires, all that kind of stuff. Um, and then he was gonna, we were gonna do the the leaky oil because I had oil all over my motor. Motor, we didn't know where the oil was coming from, and um, the uh, so it was a, and being a hoax. So anyways, but he didn't he didn't get to the shop until like two thirty Friday, so I didn't get out of there until late. All right, I had uh, I was supposed when I picked up on Thursday, I was supposed to be over in Kansas City, Missouri, Monday for a delivery. Okay. Now, it's it's not that hard to do, but I figured, okay, I'm, I'll pick up Thursday, go to Jose's, I'll leave Thursday night, I've got plenty of time, I could do four or 500 miles a day, no no big deal, but I had a, I had to hammer down, and so I had a, I had to say that I started in, um, at the pickup in Cali Thursday, and then I just went Friday, Saturday, and then I, Sunday I did a restart in Kansas City, Missouri, okay. My ELD is showing, um, I had a restart on Sunday, but I didn't. I rolled Saturday night, or Friday, Saturday, Sunday, made my delivery Monday morning in St. Louis, or in, in Kansas City. I'm, I'm looking at this truck to St. Louis, and I'm an idiot. Um, and, I, and I made my, um, I always wanted to do this. Breaker one nine for rubber ducky. I always wanted to do that. I've never, I've never done that before. Anyways, um, so uh, so I, I did. I do what they call rolling restart. Now I gotta shit in the shower now. Um, yeah, pull forward. Sure, sure. I don't. Uh, um, I, 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 I typically. I mean, I won't say yes or no if I. It's rare I do a 34, a straight 34, but I know if I'm tired or not, okay? So the reason why I showed you my manila folder is that keeps all my receipts in it, okay? And I write down everything when I fuel up, whatever, because that's what you have to do for IFTA, right? Uh, it makes things a lot easier. <coughs> so here's the thing. You still have to keep track if you are unplugged. You still have to keep track of your state miles. I do. I just take a picture of my odometer and then I figure it out. It, it, it's not brain surgery at the end of the day, guys. It's not, it's really, it's, and I'm not a smart man. I just know how to figure out shit. I mean, I'm a wizard. I can make time disappear and reappear. And that's what you had to do with, with, uh, with paper logs. But nobody, nobody taught me paper logs. I mean, yeah, when you went to school, whatever, but nobody taught you how to cheat the system. Here's the thing, it's about making money out here. It's about appearing legal, and I have gone across the scale, maybe not so honest, okay? But my equipment's fucking clean, my load's tight, um, and my paperwork is intact. And if you go into the, if you go into a scale house, don't bring in some coffee stain, crumpled up, ripped ass, Oh, there's my IFTA, there's my authority, um, there's my cab card, there's my insurance. You're going to have DOT, just get out of here, or or, or, or stay there, I'm going to fucking level one you, right? So, <clears throat> go in there as a professional, man. Be clean, keep your shit clean, keep your keep your house clean, don't go in there with your shoes. Um, you know, keep, keep, I mean, I know somebody hasn't even washed his truck yet since he's had it. Shame, shame on you, but anyways, the point is, um, if you're gonna if you're gonna run unplugged, you can call me at 414-477-7845. Again, that's Kurt Time Machine. 414-477-7845. So give me a call. If you have any questions, don't 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 just run. Excuse me. Um so again. They don't care about safety out here. They care They care about getting paid. And that's the reason for the ELD, man. Because the feds wanted money. The states were already getting their money. But the feds wanted more money, right? Because our government is so great. They care about it so much. So much. And, and I fought for this country. I love this country. But I can't stand our government. So, <clears throat> the point is... If you have any questions, give me a call. I, I, I'm not the cure-all. I'm not the answer guy. 
but I can help you. I can help you, okay? Uh, and um, that's pretty much it. But don't, 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 don't run out here and and you know try to run thirty some hours straight. I mean, like if you, like I said, if you really need to, and I don't do it all the time, but if you really, really need to, like I have to deliver over in Cali on Wednesday two boats. If you look in the mirror over there, I got two boats. Two really nice bass boats. Over $100,000, right? And two bass boats. It'd be nice if I had that kind of money. But anyways, the thing is, is so I, I, I picked up, I delivered Monday, picked up Monday, and I have to be in California tomorrow to unload because my other load going out of California, going over to Tennessee, only loads Thursdays. So I have to have I have two drops in this one at one place in California, one at another place in California, um, and so I unfortunately I have to I have to do what I have to do. But I took a sure this morning and and I feel great and whatever the case is and you know I'll I'll just run. But here's another thing I don't I don't put the, the GPS coordinates in there when I get close to the delivery I do. I mean I've been around this country enough. I mean. Unless it's like the East Coast or something, I, I can pretty much know where I'm going overall. So I just I don't put the miles in there because it mind fucks me. So I'll just keep the it's just like that, right? So I just know exactly, you know. I don't know. I, I it, maybe it's I don't. I, I like little gadgets like that. I mean, I do when I get closer to deliver, I do put it on because I don't know exactly where I'm going. But I know for the most part where I'm going interstates or highways around the country. So don't don't put you know if you, if you can, you know if you're if you're a seasoned vet, um, run, run without a GPS without the coordinates. You'll mind fuck yourself, man. You keep seeing those miles like oh my god, I feel like I'm going in reverse. Um, so anyway, so like I said, give me a call if you have any questions. Um, and don't do anything stupid, man. Don't 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 don't. I mean, and still pay your IFTA, man. I mean that that's why they're you know. That's why they do this, because guys weren't and gals weren't paying their um their IFTA. They were all, oh, you know, I because you have a 30-day grace period. So if, if you're not a trucker and you're watching this video, you know you have you have three months, so you have four quarters. <clears throat> three months in every quarter, right? Just 12 months in a year. Well, you have 30-day grace period to get your IFTA done. Some people don't even know that. They think, oh my god, my IFTA's due tomorrow. You have 30 days to get that IFTA done, okay? Don't don't wait till the 30th day. And then just put oh zero. That's not that's not going to fare very well for your trucking authority, guys. Um, don't don't be foolish. So just you know, and and and, and again, write down your miles. You still got to pay. You still got to pay your taxes, man. You still got to do what you got to do as far as that goes. But like I said, give me a call. Don't don't run in the red. Don't don't do anything. You know that you know running running. You know with a unplugged ELD and just. Or, or a plugged in ELD and running the red, running into the red, running the red. Well, what's going to happen is you're going to get put out of service. So, you know, messing with an ELD and not being experienced and then thinking you could just erase it is, is essentially like jumping into a big truck without a CDL and just saying, you know, I think I can shift this big motherfucker and go down the road. Hell yeah, hand me a beer. No, it's like, it's just not going to work that way, guys. So, anyways, I want to give a shout out to all my brothers and my sisters out there and, um, Anyways, I just, I want to do a video. I, 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 I got to get going, but um, I will do a video on the truck here soon. So anyways, hope this video finds you guys well. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Ciao.